cement manufacturing is a pivotal industrial process that converts limestone rich ore to cement. Welcome to the module on cement plant mining and crushing. In this module we will understand mining process and its stages, crushing process and its stages, selection of crushing equipment, types of crushers, stacker and its types, stacker parts, reclaimer and its types, crusher lubrication. The mining process involves extracting the primary raw materials needed for cement production. These materials primarily include limestone which provides calcium and clay or shale, providing silicon, aluminium and iron. The process typically involves the following steps. The first step is identification of a quarry site through geological surveys. Once a suitable location is identified, the area is prepared for mining which may involve clearing vegetation and topsoil. The extraction process often begins with drilling holes into the rock using a rock drill to strategically place the explosives. This is followed by blasting process which is conducted under strict supervision and safety precautions. This is done to break the rock into manageable pieces. The size and frequency of the blasts depend on the quarry's size and the type of rock being extracted. Upon arrival at the crushing facility, the raw materials are crushed to smaller, more manageable sizes to facilitate further processing. Primary crushers these types of crushers mostly employ the compression or impact working principle where the finished product is to be relatively coarse. Depending on the working principle, there are three types of primary crushers. Jaw crusher, horizontal shaft impact crusher and gyratory crusher. A jaw or toggle crusher consists of a set of vertical jaws, one jaw being fixed and the other being moved back and forth relative to it by a cam or pitman drive mechanism through the eccentric shaft. The jaws are farther apart at the top than at the bottom, forming a tapered shoot so that the material is crushed progressively smaller and smaller as it travels downwards until it is small enough to escape from the bottom opening. There are two types of jaw crushers based on where the movable jaw is pivoted. Pivoted at top is the toggle crusher and pivoted at bottom is the torch crusher. The lubricant servo gem EP2 is used to lubricate. The spherical roller bearings on the main shaft that can take away heavy load and increase service life. Applied on the frame bearings connecting the flywheel to the main shaft. Toggle bearings joining toggle plate and seat. In horizontal impact crusher, the rotor rotates at high speed under the driving of motor. After the oars enter the action area of the hammer, it collides with the hammer on the rotor and is thrown to the impact device to crush again and then rebound from the impact lining to the hammer action zone to be crushed continuously. The material is crushed in the first, second and third impact chambers from medium to small and the ores with the required size are discharged from the outlet. The lubricant servo gem EP2 is used to lubricate radial ball bearings mounted on each side of the hammer axle or main rotor shaft. The lubricant servo system 68 is used to lubricate the hydraulic power pack of the crusher. A gyratory crusher is similar in concept to a jaw crusher, consisting of a concave surface and a conical head with both the surfaces typically lined with manganese steel liners. The inner cone has a slight circular movement but it does not rotate. The movement is generated by an eccentric arrangement. 
the crushing action is caused by the closing of the gap between the mantle line movable mounted on the central vertical spindle and the concave liners fixed mounted on the main frame of the crusher the gap is opened and closed by an eccentric on the bottom of the spindle that causes the central vertical spindle to gyrate the vertical spindle is free to rotate around its own axis the lubricant servo gem ep2 is used to lubricate spider bearing on the upper end of main shaft and the eccentric bearing assembly at the lower end of the main shaft the step bearing located on the piston of the hydraulic cylinder which provides axial support for the main shaft secondary crushers these types of crushers employ a combination of impact attrition and shear working principle to crush hard or medium hard ores and rocks these include cone crusher and a hammer mill or swing hammer impact crusher in a cone crusher the motor drives the eccentric sleeve to rotate by the transmission device and the movable cone rotates driven by the eccentric bushing the section of the movable cone near the fixed cone is the crushing chamber and the stones and ores are repeatedly crushed and impacted by the movable and the fixed cone here when the movable cone leaves the section the materials that have been crushed to the required particle size are discharged from the outlet of the cone the lubricant servo gem ep2 is used to lubricate upper radial bearings on the main shaft upper cylindrical roller thrust bearing and tapered roller thrust bearing lower tapered roller thrust bearing lower radial bearing main shaft support bearing the hammer mill crush material in two stages first the material is reduced by dynamic impact crushing then occurs by attrition and shear in the lower chamber where small clearances exist between hammers and the great screen the materials smaller than the gap of the great screen are discharged and the materials with larger particle sizes are bounced back to the lining plate and crushed by the additional impact of the hammers the materials also impact each other during the whole crushing process in the crusher the lubricant servo gem ep2 is used to lubricate spherical roller bearings mounted on each side of the hammer axle or main rotor shaft tertiary crushers these types of crushers employ a combination of impact attrition and shear working principle to crush medium to small size ore particles these include vertical shaft impact crushers and high speed roller crushers vertical shaft impact crusher it uses the rock on rock crushing process the material to be crushed or feed is fed through the hopper at the center of the rotor this material is then accelerated to high speed before being discharged through openings in the rotor periphery the material particles are crushed as they hit off the breaker plates in the main crushing chamber at high speed and collide against each other The lubricant servo gem ep2 is used to lubricate upper radial bearings on the main shaft cylindrical roller thrust bearing lower radial bearing roller crusher is a crusher that breaks material by squeezing it between two revolving metal cylinders with axes parallel to each other and separated by a space equal to the desired maximum size of the finished product It consists essentially of two opposite directions driven cylinders that are mounted on horizontal shafts. The other shaft is mounted permanently in the frame and is leaning on robust springs. The gap between cylinders can be adjusted so the size of crushed product is easily adjustable. Usually both cylinders are covered with manganese steel liners. The roll crusher uses compression to crush materials and is suitable for fine crushing. There are four types of roller crushers namely slugger rolls single roll crusher, crushing rolls double roll crusher, smoothing rolls double roll crusher, mineral sizers tooth roll crusher. The lubricant servo gem ep2 is used to lubricate common bearings on each side of the immovable roller shaft. 
universal bearings mounted either side of movable roller shaft. Stackers are large pieces of equipment that have been designed so they are able to extend across the width of a stockpile and deposit products over the length of the stockyard. They have three types of movement. Luffing. This is vertical movement using either a winch mechanism with metal wire or hydraulic cylinders, generally two. Travelling. The stacker moves on a rail track which may be broad or narrow gauge, enabling it to move around the stockyard as required. Slewing. This is rotation of the stacker around its central axis to align or place the stockpile where required. This type of gear assembly is called a sun and planet gear arrangement consisting of bevel or helical gears. The categories of stackers based on their movement are Linear luffing non slewing stacker, linear luffing and slewing stacker, twin boom luffing type stacker, circular type stacker, bucket wheel type. The stacker comprises of the following parts main conveyor, boom conveyor, drive bogey, non drive bogey, feed chute, slewing gear. A reclaimer is a large machine used in bulk material handling application. A reclaimer function is to blend or homogenize the mixture of raw material and feed to the respective hopper. Reclaimers are classified as bridge type scraper reclaimer, bridge type bucket wheel reclaimer, side arm scraper reclaimer, barrel type reclaimer, circular type reclaimer. Here are the lubricants recommended by IOCL. Servo Mesh SP460 to all helical gearboxes, Servo Mesh XP320 to worm gear and bevel helical gearbox, Servo System 32 to all fluid couplings, Servo System 68 to power pack of crushers, stackers and reclaimers. Servo Coat 140 to apron, bull gear and stacker travel, Servo Gem EP2 to all types of bearings, Servoplex LC2 to secondary jack shaft for heavy earth moving machines greasing, heavy duty grease Servoplex LC2 460 is also used. With this, we have come to an end of this module. Thank you for watching.